Sin Productions comes a space opera adventure like no other. Bubba Stargon and the Uranus Patrol! War has broken out across the star system since the Venusians attacked Earth, and the Martians declared war on Earth to seal their alliance with the Venusians. Then Mars invaded the territories of Jupiter, cutting off Earth from their allies and Saturn and the other worlds beyond. Meanwhile, Bubba and his friends have been drafted into Earth's Space Patrol and assigned to patrol the planet Uranus, which is pretty much where they'd been when they were working for Star Trucking, and must now patrol the area in search of possible threats from Martians or Venusians. Ship's Log Acting Captain Bubba Stargon of the Spaceship Edson Recording. Well, so far, so good. All's quiet around Uranus, except for a brief little episode that we thought might have been a possible sabotage attack by sympathizers with the Martians or Venusians, but it turned out just to be some drunken kid crashing his dad's flying saucer into the back of a star stop. Well, there's a little fire there, no big deal. He, uh, he ended up spending the night in the lockup. His parents showed up to pick him up. His dad wanted to pull away all the money so he'd be out of school and have to sign up for the service, but then his mom cried about it. So yeah, pretty much a slap on the wrist there. Meanwhile, we also had a bit of a flu scare. Of course, we thought it might've been a germ attack but it turned out just to be the common flu uh, transmitted from Mr. Spot's fleas. And so uh, Booze, that is Dr. Hatfield, uh, dealt with it. And of course, Mr. Spot, uh, well, being a dog man and all, had to be dipped to kill off those fleas. And so I'm uh, pretty happy with the crew. Our new additions, uh, Ensign Butsy. Uh, it's a... Uh, Cute little ginger. She's uh, quite sweet. And then, of course, there's Lieutenant Ludi. Yeah, Lieutenant Ludi, who is half Martian, does concern me somewhat because, well, with her rather large ears and uh, green skin, I, uh, I can't help but wonder what's it like to bang a green chick? Lieutenant Ludi, report on the outer perimeter probes of Uranus. Um, completing scans now, Captain. Well, you can relax, Mr. Spot. The last test results from your stool sample shows you're clear of worms. <laughs> Damn it, Doctor. That, that kind of information, it, uh, it's private. What? Ah, come on! Uh, how private can it be when you're leaving little droppings of worms all over the toilet seat? All right, all right, come on, cut that crap out. Now, yeah, doctor, you gotta respect your patient's confidentiality, but truth be told, Spot, I mean, come on! Sure, you're half man, but look at you, we all know you're half dog. No matter what happens, Spot, you just, you're always gonna be, you know, a son of a bitch. Captain, bit. Captain! We're picking up something from one of the probes. Are you sure? Uh, the doc said he was cleared of worms. What? No, I mean the scans from out from the router perimeters. Oh, yeah. Uh, what is it? I'm not certain, but I believe it's a distress call coming from sector 10010010. Mm. Lieutenant, check for an audio message accompanying the signal. Right, sir. Converting now. Captain. What is it, Butsy? Well... I was going over the files in the search of lost ships in the vicinity over the past 10 to 20 years. And 15 years ago, the SS Humdinger was lost just in the right position, beyond Oberon somewhere in the Trojan asteroids. And, well, that corresponds with the coordinates that Lieutenant Louie just gave us. Yeah, well, uh... Audio converted, Captain. What? Oh, yeah, let's hear it. Huh. Uh, probably we can make heads or tails out of that, Captain. 
Yeah, I guess we're just gonna have to pass on this. But, but Captain, I mean, th those ships were fitted with cryo tanks so they could be frozen in cryogenic chambers, awaiting rescue, even now, 15 years later. Yeah, but, I don't know. Vincent Butsy has a point, Captain. I mean, if those chambers are still relatively intact, they could be alive, even after 15 years. Yeah, I don't know. Need I remind everyone that our primary mission here is the defense oh, of your Oh, 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 Captain, then Captain, what, I just checked the passenger manifest uh, 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 of the Hunt yeah. Digger, and, and, and it had some famous people uh, on there. Professor Yuletard, uh, well, he invented the teleporter, and Dr. Skelton, who, who invented the cure for toe fungus. Oh, and, uh, and, and the famous porn actress, Glory Ho. Lieutenant Ludy. Plot a course for coordinates X O X O Triple X. Aye, aye, sir. Well, just what will Bubba and our brave crew find when they journey beyond Oberon into the depths of the Trojan asteroids? Well, you'll just have to tune in next time for Bubba Stargon and the Uranus Patrol. Bubba Stargon and the Uranus Patrol is written and performed by me, Douglas Nelson, with music provided by Kevin McLeod and other public domain sources. <laughs>